Let's look at a few ways that we can deal with attachments when they, they come in, in the flow of work. I've got a, a couple of emails here from Matt. We'll look at the first one uh, where an attachment has been uh, classically attached. It is there attached to the email as a whole file. Uh, what do we usually do? Well, maybe we do this if we don't have much trust in the cloud uh, that we uh, click on the file. Okay, yes, that's the file. Well, I'm going to save it down to my desktop um, and we'll save it locally there. And because we're you know, not familiar with uh, other different tools, we uh, go to uh, where that file was stored. We open up OneDrive uh, in a web browser and then we drag and drop it over to OneDrive and there it is, it's uploading it to our OneDrive. You can see how many steps we went through to make that happen, to make it possible. So what is a, a better way to do this? You might have seen it when we were uh, choosing a few things along the way, uh, that if we had uh, chosen that drop down, we have an option to upload. And if you just trust that this works, have a bit of faith in the feature, <laughs> then you could choose uh, to upload directly to OneDrive and that will save there. And you can get an indication that it has done so uh, from the, uh, the attachment. So that's great. Now, um, something that we can do from here too is we can actually immediately start to work on it. So if I use the same dropdown and I choose open file location, now that the location is OneDrive, uh, then it's going to open this up. Uh, you can see it in OneDrive um, and it's in the attachments folder. Uh, and I can click on that and start to work on it. So quite handy, quite handy. Um, what's the other thing that we can do with a, another type of attachment? Matt has sent one to me where um, it is a, a link. He has uploaded it to OneDrive to share with me, and so he wants me to work on the same copy. Uh, so what can I do uh, from here? Well, I can click on the attachment, and you might have noticed this earlier. Uh, when I opened that up um, and I was looking at an attachment on, on OneDrive, I'm in the Edge browser. I'm signed into it with my Microsoft 365 account. Um, and it uses this sidebar uh, where it is configured with my Outlook account. So now I can see the email alongside the OneDrive uh, copy and I can start to work on that and know that I can read Matt's email and work on the content. So if he's given me some instructions in that email, then I can um, also reference those while I'm working on the live copy with him. That's really cool. Now, uh, one other thing that um, I might do, let's go back to uh, the email up here, um, that I might want to uh, send this through to a Microsoft team because I work in Microsoft Teams and I want to share it with the rest of my team. And so Outlook has a button um, in the desktop version of Outlook as well as the, um, the web version, uh, Outlook on the web, um, and it is this Send to Teams. So what does that do? If we click on that, Share to Teams, uh, then what that does is it brings up a almost like a new chat or attachment thing. Um, it's asking me where do I want to share this to? So I could, I could share it in chat with Matt uh, I could uh, choose a, another location. So we've got a, a couple of recent teams that I've, I've used together with Matt, um, and we'll just drop that into General Project and Radio. Um, so that is going into the general channel of Project Radio. Um, I can type a message, so uh, check this out, team. Uh, we've got a tick box down the bottom which also means that I'm attaching the file or um, including all the attachments that are part of uh, this email. Um, so we'll share that now into Teams. So Project Radio in general, the email is on its way and let's just open up Teams and have a look where that has arrived. We'll go into our general channel of Project Radio. Okay, and there is the email. Excellent, with the attachment. So those are a few ways to be able to work with attachments in the flow of work um, without having to step through a whole lot of hoops to get the content into the cloud, whether it be to my OneDrive so I can work on it, whether I uh, start to work on it while it's in OneDrive, 
or if I'm sending it to my team and we're collaborating together as a team on that email and the attachment.